Good morning, everyone. Welcome inside the Red Earth Production Studios for tips from TTO from uh, with, I should say, with our resident uh, accounting and uh, payroll specialist, Megan Wallander from the tax office. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. <laughs> did, you, did you like that? Was that, I did. that was, was a that? segue. You know, I, I, all I said, I was like, well, that's the rumor. That's what they call me. <laughs> <laughs> it's only rumor and conjecture. We won't talk about it. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, we've got some interesting stuff for you today, folks. I believe um, there's a lot happening uh, nationally and you know, a lot of it we see uh, on Absolutely. the national um, stage economically what's playing out. Most uh, most um, economics are talked at a national level. We got... Um, uh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't like to be disrespectful. I really don't. I, I really don't in the sense of, you know... We have a president who is trying, who says we need to spend six trillion dollars on what? <laughs> when I don't even think uh, on infrastructure. <laughs> yeah, infrastructure. Have we seen the infrastructure bill? Has anybody really yep. looked at it? Yes. I think that's a good question to ask. I have because <laughs> there's only like, I think that right around ten percent of it that actually goes to infrastructure. What is deemed infra infrastructure? Yes. Which is roads. Roads, highways, bridges. bridges. Mm -hmm. Internet. Those types of things. Actual infrastructure. Things that keep America going. The rest of it? <laughs> if we're deeming it infrastructure, we need to change does anybody, the... <laughs> does anybody understand what the Green New Deal is about? But we're not going to go to national politics. We're going to stay local. Because we can talk about that for hours. Well, but, and, I, and I think that's the yeah. problem at times is is uh, we get so caught up in this high level uh, thought that's shrouded in things that we we how much information are you going to go through. Yeah, there's a lot out there, right? And it can be it can be boggling. Where um, at this point, um, yes, we need to pay attention on a federal level because it all it all trickles down, um, and that is why it's so important to elect great leaders. But Joe said Joe said it isn't no longer trickle down. It's building from the inside out and the out, upside down. Or so something basically, like that. We're, we're changing the foundation. Yeah, <laughs> we want to reconstruct it. Infrastructure means reconstruct um, in today's narrative. Um, you know, that's like I was saying, that's why it's so important to. Um, it can get very distracting from a federal level. Yeah. Um, that's why, you know, it's really important that you pay attention from a local and state standpoint, because that's what we can affect by electing good leaders on local standpoint and a Missouri, you know, we're in Missouri, of course, but your state, um, you know, legislators and whatnot. You know, to make sure that you're involved there, because that really affects us as small businesses. Um, let's start off, though. We've got a few. Uh, let's let's take care of some housekeeping. Right? Housekeeping. Yes. I Tips. think that's that's always good. <laughs> you know, we can talk about the the politics of things, the economics of things and what's going to be happening state local. But let's do some housekeeping because budgets. Yes. How we spend our money. Taking care of our business day to day, doing those right things, taking care of understanding where our money's coming in from and out to. That's what we have control over right now. Right? Yes, that, it's, that's it's it. Too. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. To keep us going. So um, we are coming up on the last month of the first quarter. It went by so fast. I, I was talking to Greg there and I said, it is almost the end of second quarter. And he goes, it, it, it just has flown by this year. So Whoa. we just want to make sure that you are ready for um, the, you know, the end of the quarter payroll taxes that you're going to be required to pay. You're, um, if you're on a monthly schedule with um, the state, then you should have already been pay made two payments already um, coming up on that, you know, the second month. But uh, quarterly, um, you know, unemployment taxes, state and federal, those are all going to be coming up, making sure that you have that tucked away that you haven't spent that money um, and start calculating those totals. Um, it's a great time to start looking, not start, but uh, it's a great time to uh, to refresh that budget. Where are you at for the year? Um, do you have a P&L? Do you have P&Ls ready to go to start that, you know, that um, uh, gradual, what's the word I'm looking for? 
that push into the third quarter. Descent. Yeah, there you I don't go. know what I'm getting. I'm, <laughs> I'm getting. hoping it's an I'm, I'm hoping it's an increase. But we uh, should ascend exactly. into the third quarter. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, making sure that you know you've got your budget updated. If you if you're not where you're at or where you thought you were going to be, put plug those numbers in. Find out where you're going to be at going into the third quarter. Um, and and staying up on that. Um, tax planning, it, going into the third quarter, that's the best time to start that tax planning goal um, as far as getting with your accountant, getting with your CPA, where are you at for the year? Um, do you need to start putting more money into the system? Are you going to owe? A great time to start thinking about those things going into the third quarter. We you know, highly suggest it. <laughs> and that, and that's a, that, that goes to, to structuring your business. You know, we talk about these things all the time. We talk about, well, I don't know if we talk about them all the time, but we should. <laughs> um, but who is, who's the person in your business? And if you're just a sole proprietor, entrepreneur, are, do you have somebody like a Megan? If it's just you and you're the one out doing the work, doing the heavy lifting, um, and that could be at a computer, whatever, and it comes to 10 o'clock at night and you go, man, I, I've got to set my budget. I've got to do this. Yeah. I got to do this. And all of a sudden the brain just goes, no, I don't, I'm want, done. To do, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> and, and it happens to all of us. <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that person? And this is, this to me is what's at issue with, with most entrepreneurs. We talk about failure rate. We talk about these things and, you know, cash flow, this, that. It's because when we go into business, we have a passion for something. Yes. And I'm going to say these things. And what Megan's talking about here, following these patterns, who's helping you with this? Is it the wife? Is it your daughter? Is it your son? Is it you just a whole? Is it, do you have an employee that's doing this? What are you doing? How are you structuring your business? And I, I just don't think we talk about those things enough. You watch a corporate level company. And... Why do they have like 20 VPs? Yeah. Because <laughs> everybody's wearing a smaller hat in that scenario. <laughs> so hopefully we don't miss something. Right. And that, that's that. And, and I'm using that as an example. Well, uh, that, yeah, corporate level, there's more to it. You have 800 stores, a lot more you know, capital you have 20 involved. Stores. And, and, you have, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I get all that. And exponentially things grow. But still, if you're the entrepreneur and you've got all this cash flow coming in, you where is it going, how's it going, who's doing what, where? And if you're the person doing the heavy lifting, where is the time management spent for you to structure what you're doing and how you're doing it? And this is why it's always important, and I talk about these things all the time, outsourcing. If you're the individual, if you're that person, you can't wear that many hats. It's just impossible. It's and it's not it's not good. You will wear yourself out, and that's why you see these success rate Burnout. of new businesses one to three years. Um, because you might be, I mean, you might be a heavy lifter, and you might be a go getter, and that I can I commend. You know, capitalism. I love capitalism. I love um, having a passion for something. But at the end of the day, um, if you want to be here past that three year mark, that statistic there, you got to you have to find out what you're great at. And, and utilize your strengths there and outsource what you, you just can't get to. 50% are done, are gone yeah. by the five-year mark. Yeah. that's and, it's, and I think it is due to these things. This is research. This is things that we talk about all the time. We both own companies. The reason, uh, you know, and the reason we have Megan on here, um, and it's just the truth of it. We partnered with the tax office. Our company did because we believe in these types of things. And I'm, I'm, and I'm saying this just from a personal level, mm -hmm. really, honestly, because I believe in these things. How are we, how are we succeeding as companies? How are we helping each other in the local community? We all want to succeed, but building and taking, I've taken all the, I've taken some of the lessons I've learned from corporate structure and implemented them into my own uh, small business right. or micro business. Mm -hmm. It's an LLC partners, all those things. But yet we have, each of us has a department. Each of us, each of us has our own responsibilities to handle. You Your have to take to care of that. Mm -hmm. Everybody. And it may be a couple of hats, but if right. I have to take off a hat, I'm going to find somebody I can trust right. to handle that business for me and make sure that 
That doesn't mean I don't pay attention to it or go, here you go, just go do whatever you want right. with my money. <laughs> No. no, that's not how that works. <laughs> and it is hard as a, as a, as a business owner, you know, Greg and I have talked about this, um, to LinkedIn, you know, he's been in business over 35 years now and it, it's hard to trust somebody with something that you've built from the ground up and, and, and put those responsibilities on. So we're not saying that's an easy task, right? but it, it's, it's needed for your sanity and the success of your business, <laughs> it, both. <laughs> and, and, and. And it goes to these things. This is my the experience and why uh, with Red Earth Productions we say these things. And when we talk about with the tax office and, and doing these things, we, we want to build business through relationships. Absolutely. Not transactions. That's not just something we say. It's something we believe in. Right. Because the relationship is more important than the money. Uh, money is a tool that can, that that we all need and use to pay our bills, to uh, feed ourselves, to that. <laughs> but we look at money in a different way, and this is what's created a lot of the problems in the world itself, in Agreed. my estimation. Agreed. And I'm I'm not trying to wax philosophical or anything <laughs> of that nature. It's not the point of it. Right. It's a matter of the people. When, when are when are people more important than uh, the cash? Agreed. And and you know you said transactional versus relationship. You can have a transaction and that might bring in a specific dollar amount. But yeah. when you build those relationships, it um, continues that growth um, of your cash flow. Right. Um, it will it will sustain a relationship will sustain with a client or another business or you know whatever type of business that you run that relationship will sustain the growth versus one transaction here, one transaction here. I agree. Yeah. Exactly, man. So. And so you've got some other thoughts here, and we were, we've, we've been talking about... Uh, I just have one more little tip from the tax oh, office. Um, no, 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 I'm you're sorry. fine. So um, if you did receive, I know we've talked about it in the past, but if you did receive unemployment this year, the federal government is taking care of those amendeds on their end. So there's no um, necessary attention that you right. need to give that. They'll be taking, now, I don't know a time frame. I don't know how long that's going to happen. Yeah, I don't know how long that's going to take. We're seeing um, a uh, little more extension on, you know, refunds this time of year or whatnot. So bear with the IRS. Um, uh, you know, nobody likes them, but I think they're short staffed as well, too. So bear with them. Um, and so um, they're going to be taking And once those are done, you'll be able to file your, file your amended with the state as well. So um, just I don't hang think, tight. And, and I know there are people and, oh, and there's shoot. people who work in the IRS that are just regular folks. They're they're like you and I, and I talk but to them I, daily. I just <laughs> don't think too many people have uh, much. Uh, ah, we're not going to go there. They don't. They, um, there's not high regards for the IRS, <laughs> but I talk to um, the, you know, the. What, what do we say? The plebes down there on our level. I talk to them daily. They're just trying to make a buck like the rest of us, you know. So, you know, uh, that level, yes, I try to give them a break. <laughs> well, oh, let, shoot. Let, let, let's uh, let's talk about that because we talk about government. We talk about local government. We talk about state government. And I think these things are very important. And I, I, Justin, uh, we'll have him um, make sure we'll, we'll put this uh, link uh, to this particular website because Megan and I have both looked at it. We looked at actually, I, we did it weird. separately. It was kind of, I come in and I said, Hey, you seen this web? She goes, Yeah, I was looking at this. One. So there you go. There's lots of stuff on the on same it. page. Yes. That's kind of scary. No, it isn't. <laughs> Simpatico. Yes, there you go. <laughs> so, but it's called uh, Legiscan. It's uh, bringing people to the process. Uh, it's Legiscan, uh, Legiscan.com forward slash mo and uh we'll, like i said we'll have that in the uh show description down down there you can click on the link because it takes you to what's happening in the in the missouri legislature yes mm -hmm. and bills and information that's affecting it's like right here uh does anybody you know hb 85 establishes the second amendment preservation act which creates additional protections to the right to bear arms um not getting into that part of it, right. but 
<laughs> you know, everybody knows this. Yes, yes. That is one that, that it's mainly talked. It's, it's one that's talked about a lot. Mm-hmm. But here you have these these bills that are going that these have all been delivered to the governor. And this uh, HB 432 is relating to the protection of vulnerable persons. What does that mean? Mm-hmm. It's very vague on there sometimes. Can we read these <laughs> and go in and reading the, the HB 734 modifies provisions relating to utilities? Well, how does that affect the economy? What are, what are we talking about? Here's one that enacts provisions relating to insurance. That's SB6. Yeah, I, I actually read that one the, um, yesterday. Yeah, I thought that was very inter- very interesting. Um, and uh, with what he's looking at, there are 10, what, 10 or so items yeah. <clears throat> that within the last... It was on, at the days. end of the last session. Yeah, in the last session. So everything got sent to the governor's desk. There's, you know, 10 or so things that have been sent to the governor's desk getting ready to mm-hmm. impact Missouri, however right. that may be. Do we know what's impacting Missouri? Um, you know, can, can, can small businesses, can you on a personal level afford what's happening right now? You know, right. we talk about this infrastructure bill. Can you afford a two trillion dollar infrastructure bill? Um, and you know, there, you know, you think, well, I'm not going to have to pay that. Well, yeah, you are. At the end of the day, that money has to come from somewhere. And that is, I, I will say that <laughs> till the end of time, um, the money has to come from somewhere. I was a journal manager for years. And, you know, with, you know, purchasing a spatula or purchasing a bowl for whatever reason or purchasing a new piece of equipment or giving that employee, you know, a 30 cent, 50 cent raise, where does that money come from? The, corp- the corporate level, we think, well, they'll just, they need to pay it or they're going to they're pay more in taxes. Like, that's not how it works. And we've seen this time and time again, who suffers through or who, who gets impacted the most through tax hikes and regulations? Right. Smaller right, businesses. Right. Yes, we've seen this time and time again. So that's why we're, we're trying to bring this to bear and open up the conversation is, do we really know what's behind this $2 trillion infrastructure bill? Uh, it's six trillion. Is it, I thought it was two. No, six. When did it he become just, two? <laughs> he just did this. He announced it last night. It's I apologize, six folks. Trillion dollars. That's I can't even fathom it. That's a lot of money. <laughs> as I said before. Yes, we've talked about the dollar. As I said, the, <laughs> the 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 one trillion one trillion seconds ago was thirty eight thousand years ago. It, it okay, just, it, it's so, unfathomable. And Justin, what have we got? A trillion is is a hundred billion. Is that what you said? Yeah, one hundred mm-hmm. billion. No, it's a million billion. A million. Excuse. A thousand billion. A thousand billion? Well, a hundred billion. A thousand billion. A million. <laughs> Even billion. one billion. Who knows what those numbers are? <laughs> I mean, I think we're just. I think we're just. A thousand up, billion. We're just adding zeros and coming up with letter uh, yes. names of things here lately. Um, and then How we talk. Zeros is that fifteen? It's it's it's. it's Quite a bit. It's, it's I quite think a bit. Fifteen zeros. And can we? Can the country? Can you know? We bring it down to even a state level. Can we, as local business owners, loving capitalism? I use the word capitalism a lot. I love capitalism. It's great. <laughs> you can be whatever you want. You can <sighs> pursue any dream you want. Um, but can we? Can we really afford what's going to be taking place? As if you know this particular. Um, motion gets, you know, or this gets put into motion. Um, and, and the proposed corporate tax rate is going, um, 28%. Um, that's the highest increase. It's not the highest it's been. Um, four or five years ago, I think it was 34, 35%. So it's not the highest we've right. seen. However, it's the highest increase in one fell swoop. Right now we're sitting at 21%. Who do you think takes the hit on? that big of an increase. So it, it's something that needs to be talked about. It's something that as small business owners, how does this impact us? What do we do about it? What what does that look like next year when these well, uh, when if it does pass? And and this is the thing. This is this is what you're dealing with here. Uh you know, just in Missouri, I understand at the national level, mm-hmm. they start taxing people. You, it's it's a redistribution of wealth. Yes, you can it is. say what you want to. <laughs> That's exactly I'm what it is. To, I'm I and I I'll, I'll be very honest with uh, everybody. Um you know, back when I was, I think, 18, when I didn't know really much of anything, I registered right. <laughs> as a Republican because that's, you know. That's what your parents were. Yeah, yep. you know, and whatnot. Yep. Yeah, Ronald Reagan was around and whatnot. And oh, I wow. definitely was. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I just made him fools. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> you know, and, and I remember Jimmy Carter and I remember all that stuff. I, I remember those things. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm neither, I, I don't consider myself Republican or Democrat. I, 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 I want to, I want to listen to what somebody actually has to say. Right. I agree. You mm -hmm. know, we, we sit here and divide ourselves in party lines and things yes. like that. And I know that there are people that would go, you can't, you got to do that. That's your sacred right to do that. No, sacred nothing. And it creates um, more division. When are we going to listen to the substance of a man? I, I, when, I, when I hear people talk, that tells me who they are, Absolutely. whether Democrat or Republican. Yeah. Has nothing to do with... Uh, are there party platforms that people sit and can sway larger for? We have moderate Democrats and moderate Republicans. We have extremes on either side. There's a lot of political parties out there. There's people, there's <laughs> conservative Republicans, there's, um, there's, you know, liberal Republicans. Yes. There mm -hmm. are. So wh where do we, where, where does it end? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And this is the issues that we deal with because right now, you know, there's SB. SB 51, which establishes provisions relating to civil actions arising from COVID-19 pandemic. What is that about? Right. What are we doing? You know, you have all these things from Sam Page to um, the uh, the governor and how things were dealt with in our, in our area around here right. with COVID-19. We had some people that were a little more level-headed. Uh, I think in the St. Charles County area, we, they and, were yes, and very grateful for that. Didn't didn't um, downplay the seriousness of things. No, okay, absolutely. I have no problem mm -hmm. with that. But yet, didn't um, and it was bad enough in my estimation, infringing on pe on people's rights, not freedoms, rights. Yes, <laughs> what gives you the opportunity to go about your day and to be. Uh, free to move about Absolutely. is your rights that have been granted to us through our constitution. That's where it boils down to. And when that, when those are taken away, you, you lose the ability to do business. You lose the ability to make a living. You lose the ability to take care of your family. Right. And that's, what's at issue. Mm hmm. And this is what has been the struggle and what is still the struggle for a lot of, a lot of people, it local really is. and micro businesses here in the areas. There's a, and a lot of them won't come back. If they are coming back, it's going to be, it's going to be a slow start. So yeah. yeah, we definitely feel your pain out there and that's what we're here for to help you navigate through, um, what to pay attention to, what to listen to. It's, it's easy to get lost in the shuffle, but really focus on, on your local and, and your state. Um, cause that's what we, that's what affects us directly right now. And listen, and I know people would say, he said, who are you? I'm Joe Schmo. That's who I am. <laughs> yeah. I'm I mean, Joe Schmo. We're normal people. <laughs> and, and you know what? Here's the, here's the other thing. We, we, we have a tendency to look at these people in these places, uh, say like even Donald Trump or Joe Biden or Nancy Pelosi or Mitch McConnell or any of the, and we go, man, these are people who, these are. They're regular people. They're Joe Schmoes, just like you. They put their pants They're on people. one leg at a time. Like They're the rest people. Of us. <laughs> um, take the time to go and look and investigate and be uh, proactive in understanding what's going on around you. Mm -hmm. That's part of why uh, things happen in the way they do. Correct? Agreed. Yes, agreed. Mm -hmm. When you're bringing, when people are bringing this information to you, and you're dealing with accounting of this, that you see. And no offense to people, it's just it's just kind of what we talk about yes. here. Why mm -hmm. you're trying to wear too many hats as a business person, and it gets away from you, it and does. then you have to deal with the consequences. And then there, you know, there whether they're you know some are big consequences, some are little, but it's never too late to you know to reel it in and say, okay, I, I can't do this, and I want to be successful. And right now, putting those, you know, we talk a lot about foundations and and best practices in place and aces and, you know, aces in the places and whatnot. Um, it's never too late to start those great practices. And especially right now, we don't know a lot of what's coming down the pipeline. Not yet. Not I yet. I mean, it's still sitting there. It's still, everything's yeah. kind of in limbo right now. So, you know, we, we can be as prepared as we can be mm -hmm. um, with great budgets in place um, and a great, great teams in place. I know that Missouri just lifted the um, federal 
unemployment. They're not receiving any more federal aid. Yeah, they took the. They, they took that away. So, um, honestly, you Let's should get back start to seeing work. exactly. Let's you get back should to start work. seeing some applications. So, don't take Vacation's those for granted. Vacation's over, <laughs> right? You know, it wasn't a vacation for me. Oh man, <laughs> we, you know, we've been a little you know, busy there at the tax office. It's, all it's this. tragic how many places have to close every day because they don't, somebody can't get to work. They don't have staff. Let me it rephrase <laughs> this. Let me rephrase this. People won't go to work. Yeah, it's not they can't get to work. They won't go to work. <laughs> and I want to say this. The government, the money that the government is sending everybody has come from somebody else. Yeah. The government has no ability to create wealth. At all. They period. know how to spend it. But they, they don't can, know how to create it. <laughs> this is what's at issue. They take from you and spend it. And that's what taxation is about. Yes, it is. Period. Mm -hmm. Understand what's happening. Look into these things. Understand what's happening at your state level. Mm -hmm. I understand the federal. Sometimes that can be a, lot, a little larger and more. But at least in Missouri, in the state of Missouri, you can go there. Go to Leg Legiscan. Dot com see what's going on forward slash mo see what's happening follow these things where is taxes happening who's raising what they recently did the gas tax they right did. yeah pass that but you know what there's people fighting back against that because the money the amount of money they were going to raise tax the gas tax would I think it it would raise like a ha uh, a half a billion dollars in the state of Missouri, and everybody goes, well, we need that. But you know what? There's a uh, I think a moratorium on these things that that amount of money has to go to the vote of the public. It can't be done in Congress in the state legislature. Oh, I, did, I did not know that. Okay, learning what's going on. So it they couldn't they legally the legislation couldn't vote that in. Really? Huh. It has to go to a vote of the people. So Agreed. A, when a are we going to look at these things and understand what's going on so they can't just take money out of your pocket all the time? Agreed. I understand we need to fix a pothole in the road. I'm all for that. I'm all for it. It helps my tires. You stay. know, I, I, I get that. And I understand there are things that we have to do. Education. Absolutely. Uh, there's all kinds of information, but we have to start with our businesses first. Are we profitable? Are we able to take care of our families? Are we able to do this? I don't mind paying and helping uh, with these types of things as long as it's done within a, a, a focused attempt and the right things. And we're not, um, I'm sorry, I, I just don't want my money to go to abortion or these things. That's the way I feel about it. I don't care who's voting for it. Right. Um, and I know we're, we, we're, you, 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 we're talking. Yes, that's who I am. That's what I am. Yeah, I mean, you can't just business, and it doesn't take away your your yeah your, your personal beliefs. So, I mean, that's you know, who I am as a person. And, and people can do choose this America. You can choose to do business with me or not. That's, right. That's this is America, right? It's, it's as of right now. <laughs> that's what we as of right now. Final thoughts. <laughs> Final thoughts. Um, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Keep going. Don't give up. Keep yeah. pushing through. Stay informed. Um, if you if you have questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, yeah. and, and reach out to, you know, I, I write um, Senator Josh Hawley a lot. And I, I, I stay in contact with the, the, the ones that make the impacts on a federal level. Um, and, and this right here, show it gives lists of who the representatives are in your counties and whatnot. Stay informed. Know who those people are. Write them. If, you don't, if you're not seeing something you like. Get in there. Get involved. Because um, that's how we make a difference. This is our business. This is what we it's do. our livelihood. Absolutely. And how we take care of our families, folks. So, thanks, Meg. Absolutely. <laughs> hey, the Lord bless y'all. Absolutely. Uh, have a great day in the Lord. Always remember that uh, we're here for you. Uh, you can contact the uh, tax office at 636-926-7511. Uh, yes. Or go to the website at uh, thetaxoffice.com and uh, see what's going on there at the tax office. They, they'd be happy to talk to you about... It's a slower time of year. I got yeah. all kinds of time to... Yeah, tax season. <laughs> tax, uh, season tax preparation. Time. Getting the tax yeah, preparation tax moving. tax preparation you know? whatnot. Get that going. Um, we're, we're there. We're, we don't leave throughout Absolutely. the year. So uh, give us a call. Absolutely. So, hey, folks. Uh, 
keep rolling, keep doing. And uh, thanks for joining us today. Remember, hit that subscribe button. Yes. We appreciate that. Hit the bell, get your notifications for upcoming episodes. Meg and I are going to keep coming back talking about these important <laughs> issues. Hey, because we, we, we have a voice and we want to be heard. Yeah. I agreed. Absolutely. We love talking. Absolutely. So we'll see you next time.